Welcome back everyone, my name is Gray with Paletta and today we'll be covering what is white balance. There's surprisingly more to it than meets the eye. In order to get a grasp on white balance and how it affects our images, we first need to understand something called color temperature. Simply put, each light source had a different color or temperature. We measured this light in Kelvin. In this graph, we can see that we have a range from 1000 to 10,000 Kelvin. As the Kelvin gets lower, the light that is available gets warmer or more orange. A few examples where you might find this type of warm light is in tungsten light bulbs, campfires, or candles. Both sit very warm on the Kelvin scale. If we go over to the right side of the graph, there we would find examples such as a camera flash or a night sky. A thing to keep in mind that all these numbers and scales are estimates. Daylight is roughly 5600 Kelvin. Some days it might be leaning more towards 5400 Kelvin or 5800 Kelvin. This applies to all light colors. Lights that are man-made are usually dialed in to produce a specific temperature of light. This allows photographers to control what color they have on set and what temperature they need to set in their cameras. How does your camera compensate for all the different colors of light? You've probably seen different options on your camera such as tungsten, fluorescent, daylight, flash, shade, or cloudy. The on-camera options aren't telling you what Kelvin to change to, it is giving you examples for what situation you might be shooting in and adjusting the Kelvin appropriately. If that's too many options for you, you can always use the auto white balance mode and have the camera change the Kelvin automatically. This is a great option as long as you don't mind your camera changing temperatures between shots. For me personally, I like to dial in my temperatures so I know that it will be consistent throughout different sessions. You can use the custom feature to manually set your Kelvin to your liking. Now here's a little exercise to see the results for yourself. Grab your camera and set the white balance to 5600 Kelvin. Shoot an image during the day and compare it to an image shot inside your house. Unless the lights inside your house are daylight balanced, you'll notice that there is a color shift in the second image. You can test this with various light fixtures and seeing shifting color temperatures of different light sources. Post your results on Instagram and use the hashtag Paletta Practice for a chance to be featured. Thanks again for tuning in for another Two Minute Tuesday. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.